What's the matter, dearie? What? Oh, oh, we're gonna... Oh, hello, everyone! It's me, Grammy Lumpet, here for Grammy's Bookshelf. And today on Grammy's Bookshelf, we are gonna look up a term that's been bugging Grammy for quite a while. So let's open up the old dictionary and find out what this term is. The term, or the word that's been bugging me, is called cistern. Now let's find out what cistern means. Okay, here we go. Um, the word cistern, according to my Webster's New World Dictionary that was copyrighted in 1943, is a large receptacle for storing water, especially a tank in which rainwater is collected for use. Ugh. Oh, very good. Well, Grammy now knows what the definition of a cistern is, but Grammy is always curious, and I'd love to see a cistern. And it just so happens, my little grandson, Marky, works for the Parks Department, and I'm gonna hook up with him and see if he can show me a cistern here in Lakeville. Ah, oh, let's put the book back on the shelf, and oh, before Grammy goes, I'm gonna take a little nap. <laughs> Hey, Grammy, it's great you got out here in a Ritter Farm Park and you gave me a call so we could talk about the cistern. Oh, Mark, it's so good to see you, too. Give Grammy huggies. Oh, come oh, here. Very good. Oh, very good. <laughs> so, you know what? I found out the definition of what a cistern is, but I'm wondering why is there a cistern here in the middle of Ritter Farm Park? Well, this used to be a farm. Really? Back in the 1920s, we started, they built the house and they had a farm here. Oh, I know. What did they, they stored water in here? Because that's what the cistern does, it stores water. Why did they have water stored here, Mark? Well, they had animals for the farm and they had the people that lived in the house. So, Marky, they actually had a windmill that would pump and distribute the water here? The windmill would pump the water into the cistern, and that's where it would be held, like a water tower that we have today. Oh, very cool. Well, well can we go inside, Marky? Can we go inside? Grammy would love to see the, what it looks like inside. Absolutely, Grammy. Come on, let's take a look. Okay, now be careful. Grammy has bunions. All right, Marky. Let's open the door and see what's inside the cistern. Here we go. Here we go. Yes! Oh. Oh. Well, I'm the cistern monster. I live in here. I'm Grammy Lumpen, and I'd like to check out your cistern, please. Well, I wish you would have called ahead, and I could have kind of cleaned up the place, but come on in and take a look. Yes, so this is my home. As you can see, there's not a lot of light, so. But that's what it looks like inside the cistern. Well, Marky, that was certainly nice of that monster to show us what was inside the cistern. Wasn't very much in there, was it? No, it's pretty empty. All right, well, Marky, you be a good boy and you get back to work so you don't get into trouble. I don't want Grammy to get you into trouble now. You have a great day, Grammy. I will, and you all have a good day, too, and we'll see you next time on Grammy's Bookshelf. Come on, Marky, let's go. I'll give you some hot cookies and cocoa.